What's up guys and welcome to another video that's different. Yeah, I'm going through a little uh, midlife crisis. I don't know who the hell I am anymore. So uh, I'm just going to start making videos. <laughs> no, but for real. Today I'm doing a episode review of Dragon Ball Super Episode 101. This episode just came out a few hours ago and I watched it and it was a really good episode. So I'm going to do a review. And I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, this episode starts out with Goku challenging Jiren. But uh, Jiren just looks at him like, nigga, please. And, <laughs> and then Topo, he intervenes and he uses his Justice Flash. And he sends uh, Goku flying. And uh, Goku lands near Kale and Khalifla. And, uh, you know, I'll get back to that in a second. But Topo tells Jiren that they need to conserve their energy. And, uh... It's kind of weird that Topo is the leader, yet Jiren is so much stronger than Topo. You can just tell by the last episode. And, uh, yeah, I just think that that's weird. And they they do need to conserve their energy, but it's going to come back to bite them in the ass in the future. And, uh, yeah. Khalifla <laughs> and uh, Goku, they get attacked by five pride troopers because Topo sends the five, five, about five pride troopers that's a hard let's say that damn five times fast he sends five pride troopers towards goku to attack him and uh yeah this is pretty much what happens 17 and 18 get involved khalifla and kale get involved well more khalifla kale just kind of sits there because you know she's useless unless she has steroids goku gets in a fight with a guy that just turns his face into some sort of metal or something it was weird Goku's always letting his guard down. That's the only thing I don't like about his character. He's my favorite character that has ever been created, but he's he's such a bland character, but I mean, you gotta love him. He got into like some, he I can't believe that he lets his guard down this many times. You would think that if his entire universe is on the line, that he would take the fight a little bit more seriously, but he just doesn't. And he definitely will in the future because he's going to eventually get a new form that's kind of been confirmed already. And I uh, can't wait for the new form and uh, can't wait to see how strong he gets. 17 and 18 get in a fight with Casserole. I think that's how you pronounce his name. And uh, mostly 17 at first, Casserole throws a Kai blast at him and he thinks that he already knocked out 17. But 17 just sitting there chilling. He was just like, what kind of piece of shit attack was that? And then Casserole goes ape shit because he's mocking him. And then 18 jumps in. And then they kind of. They're dodging every single thing that he's throwing at him. And then cut back to Khalifla. She is fighting some green face guy. I can't remember. There was too many colors for this Universe 11. Everybody just looks weird. But yeah, he was fighting. She was fighting some green face guy. And she was trying to hit him. He was dodging everything. And then he was like, maybe you should look up. And then she looked up and there was a bunch of Kai Blast just sitting there chilling, waiting to come down and hit her in the face. Once that happened, the girl from Universe 11 threw some kind of blast at Kale and sent her to a completely different dimension. And she can't get out of this. The only way that she can get out of this is maybe something similar to how Boo and Gotenks got out of the different dimension in the hyperbolic time chamber in Dragon Ball Z. Goku's still getting choked to death and well 18 comes up behind and uh, blasts the guy off and uh, honestly I can't really remember what happened to that guy I think that he does get ringed out but I will tell you how he gets ringed out in a second Roshi was in this episode as well Roshi did not have a big I mean if you guys know if you've watched the Dragon Ball series if you're a really big fan of the series um he used to use this lightning attack that would send somebody in the sky. He actually used it on Goku when he was a kid in the uh, World, Martial Art, Mar uh, World Martial Arts Tournament. Gosh, I can't say words right now. It pretty much just sends somebody flying in the air and you keep them there, but they can't move, but you also can't move. Roshi realizes this and Tien helps him and rings the guy that is floating in the air out. Roshi uh, shows his gratitude towards Tien. And uh, that's pretty much uh, where they're standing. And Piccolo reunites with the group. Gohan reunites with the group. So all four of them are back together. Uh, it's, it was said in the episode that they got um, 
They got split up while Kale was going on her fucking rampage period, whatever the hell you want to call that. There was another little scene between Frieza, the leader of Universe 10, and Vegeta, those three. Frieza was holding the leader of Universe 10 over the edge, and Vegeta was getting pissed off because he was fighting him in the first place. But you know, Frieza's a savage. He don't give a fuck. All right, let's cut back. Goku, at this point, has stopped fighting, and it is all up to Kale and Khalifla. Kale and Khalifla are cornered at this point. Kale is still in that other dimension, but somebody is sending a Kai blast towards Kale's way, and then Khalifla steps in the way and says, that she's her, that she's her protege, and she's going to protect her with her life, and uh, that she should know this. Kale, which kind of reminds me of Vegeta, has so much self hatred for herself in these situations that it makes her go literally berserk. She actually went Super Saiyan one, and she had control of it, and she breaks out of this dimension from her enormous power. Breaking out of this dimension. Khalifa and Kale are now in a situation where Casserole, the green guy, and this little blue fucking midget sends Kai Blast towards their way. Now, this is kind of like a Kamehameha Blast versus a Gallic Gun, I guess you could say. Um, or kind of like in a few episodes back where Vegeta and Goku knocked off the um, the wolves. I can't remember the hell their name is... Uh, uh, Trio de Dangers or some shit um, <laughs> knocked them off at the final Kamehameha. So it was kind of like this situation, but Kale and Khalifa. Kale and Khalifa, yeah, they're losing this little battle. And then Kale, she gets even more pissed off and she actually goes Super Saiyan Berserk. But this time, when her pupils are removed from the eye, she has control over it. So therefore, they won this Kai Blast battle and it looked so cool because they, the three warriors from the Pride Troopers were going all at it. Kale and Khalifa were going all at it. It was really nice to see. They made like a candy cane, whatever the hell that was. I don't know. They didn't name their attacks, so I can't really tell you how, yeah, I can't really tell you. But anyway, they won that and three of them that got knocked off, um... I can't remember how that stone face guy got knocked off. Can't remember. I know he got knocked off. I think he was one of them, possibly. I uh, can't really remember. But the three of them got knocked off. The little short midget, the casserole, and the green guy. They got knocked off. The girl, she protected herself, and <laughs> she did not get knocked off. But Android 18, being smart, went over there and picked her ass up and just threw her out of the ring. And that's pretty much where this episode ended off. And it was a good episode. It was a really exciting episode. Maybe you can't tell. <laughs> but it was a really interesting episode to watch. And I'll be coming out with another one of these videos next week. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.